Yo, what is up everybody? I hope you're having an amazing Wednesday. I know I am. In today's video, I bought the cheapest LED lights off of Amazon.com. For 65 feet, it was 14 and 9, so it's just under a quarter per foot. So if you haven't noticed by now, I'm trying to stick to a every Wednesday and every Saturday upload schedule. So turn on notifications for that. Enjoy the video. From Amazon.com, I got the GovUp 65 foot LED lights. They're currently $69.99, so they went up $2 since I bought it. So it's 26 cents per foot, but I've seen it drop as low as $13.99. It does come nicely packaged, however, it is LED lights, so it doesn't really matter that much. It's kind of hard to break them, but it's always nice to have that assurance that your product won't arrive damaged. For the box on the front, you have a picture of what the lights look like, as well as a name. And on the side, you have some specifications. On the back, you have just some like basic logo information and information about the product number. On the inside of the box, you have a pretty basic and cheap power block. And then that connects to a control box, which connects to the LED lights. And you also have an LED controller. It's pretty basic. It's not um, one of the like expanded ones where you have multiple options. You just have like your simple four basic colors as well as different variations of those. And you have four different modes, which are flash, strobe, fade, smooth. You also have a brightness up, brightness down. You have an on and off button. Underneath the LED lights, you have a user manual, which we will see in a second. It actually came out to be very, very helpful. It goes over how to download the app, how to use the app, some common questions, how to set up the actual LED lights, how to cleanly apply it to the wall, and how to use the remote. With these lights being only about 15 bucks, unfortunately, you only get one roll, meaning it's continuous. So if you don't want to use all of it and you want to cut it, then just keep in mind that that piece that you cut off, you won't be able to connect it to anything without having to buy separate adapters. I spent an hour and a half, uh, just about an hour and a half, putting the LED lights underneath my bed. It's probably like, together, it's probably like 30 maybe 40 feet of lights underneath my desk and I have it wrapped all the way around to the back of my bed. So I waited until it was a little bit darker so I could turn them on for the first time. So this will be my very first reaction. Whoa. Okay, right away, these are very, very different compared to my old LED lights. My old LED lights are much closer together, but these are like further apart. You can see the gap in between them, so they're less diffused. But I really like the underglow of my desk. On the control box, there's a little QR code you can scan, which takes you directly to their app. I had some connection issues with the app. All I had to do was just unplug the um, power box and power it back on for the LEDs, and then it connected right away. So the app, it looks pretty nice. Um, you have an on and off button to start off. Um, and you can control all the colors here. There's some down here. You have a music tab and you have a like audio tab which reacts to the voice. I mean, it has a little bit of delay as you can tell. And you have a style and you have timing. So you can select like what timing you want to have. Like if you want it to turn on at a certain time and turn off at a certain time, they can do that. So yeah, the app is pretty good. Um, it has a little bit of lag, but that's to be expected with LED lights. So for a $10 kit, this is pretty good because most don't even include the app until you're at like the $20 price range. So yeah, this is a pretty good buy. Time for the pros and cons. To begin with the pros. It's about 25 cents per foot, probably the cheapest you can find. It has Bluetooth connectivity. It includes a feature packed smart app, which has everything you need for the lights. It has a detailed user manual. Now for the cons, that's a pretty cheap build quality. It has a very thin strip and the connectors are very, very cheap. It has one continuous roll, meaning you can't cut it or else you're going to lose that real estate unless you have like a separate adapters. And there's a three inch gap between each LED light that are not close together, meaning you can see each individual LED light. That's going to just about do it for this episode. Saturday is going to be a big one. So until then, goodbye.